Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jeremy Spencer from Five Finger Death Punch and you're watching Metal Impact. Well, we're excited to finally play. I've uh, been here doing, I've done press, uh, I was here doing a press tour a few months back and we didn't get to play a show, but now we finally get to play our first show. So it's been a long time coming. We're very excited. It's been great. We're about halfway done. Uh, most of the shows have been sold out. I mean, we're out here with the Ben Sevenfold and it's been a really great build. They're great guys. And Avatar is a really fun band to watch too. They're really great. Somewhat, you know, I mean, you always hope for the best. Um, and it's really beyond your control. You just put your heart and soul into the creative process. You kind of, we try to make records that we want to listen to and that feel right to us. And then that's all you can control. You put it out there and hope for the best. But, you know, we're very fortunate that people are buying our records in a day and age where they're really not buying records anymore because they're stealing them, they're stealing them online, downloading them and stuff. But they are buying Death Punch records, so we're very grateful. Well, I mean, it's a lot of work, there's no doubt. We were in the studio pretty much every day for almost 10 months. And uh, that, it's a little tedious. It's the same stuff every day. Record, stop, repeat, you're, you know. And finally, you're like, can we please get this done so we can get out and start playing live again where you can get that instant exchange with the fans and feel that energy. So we're back out here now doing that. But it was a great process in the studio. You know, we got in a really good creative flow and we were just like, let's keep going. It's happening, let's let it flow. And we got up to maybe 24, 25 songs and it's like, well, now we need to start figuring out which songs are gonna make the record. But we didn't really want to take off any songs, so we decided, you know what, let's just let's put out two albums because it, it fits so well together as a body of work. Yeah, you know, it's Ivan, our singer, uh, he'd been a fan of that song his whole life, and I can see why being a vocalist, it's got a really great vocal part where you get to belt out that chorus, and uh, he kind of came up with the idea, and we decided, you know what, that's, it's so different, maybe we need to put it through the Death Punch blender and kind of make it sound a little bit more Death Punch, because the original's like in a 6-8 time kind of a waltz feel. And that's, you know, we decided let's make it more 4-4 four, four rock, so we changed it around and made it a little bit more aggressive. I was told, yeah, I, I was, somebody pointed him out, but uh, I'm not for sure. Yeah. But I've never yeah. heard that version. Yeah. Uh -huh. The one I like is the one by Muse. They did oh, a version. Yeah. I think that's really good. Mm -hmm. Company, always on the run. Yeah, of course. I mean, we like all all periods of music. I mean, to, to us, there's two kinds of music, good and bad, you know, but those were classic songs. Uh -huh. And uh, so it was a challenge for us to kind of do our take on them. But I think we, you know, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out for both of them. Yeah, it basically kind of just shows our life on the road and it's kind of an homage to the fans and how we visit so many different places and see so many different people and we're never at home and you know, it's just kind of our homage to the fans. That song, Ivan wrote the lyrics. It's very personal to him. Uh, I think it's got a pretty strong chorus and it's climbing the charts pretty rapidly in America, which is nice. Yeah, of course, I mean, Ivan writes about real things that are happening to him, so you get what you get with Ivan. If he's angry, you're going to know about it. If he's having a bad day, you're going to know about it. If he's having a relationship issue, that's what he, he, he writes about things that are relatable, and a lot of them are relationship-based. I think that's why so many people can relate to his lyrics. Well, we did do some songs with some special guests that will probably be released separately. They're not going to be on the volume. They 
we were thinking about doing that, but then we thought, you know what, let's don't do two records the exact same. Uh -huh. So let's, you know, we do have some songs done with people that we may use for something at some point, but uh, not on this Perhaps it, it will be a surprise for in the future. It'll be a surprise, yeah. yeah. That was great. I mean, that was like a dream come true because we've all been Judas Priest fans our whole life. And uh, when we were listening back to our track, Lift Me Up, it was Ivan that suggested, hey man, how cool would it be if we could get Rob Halford to, to sing on this? And we were like, oh man, that would be awesome. So we had our management reach out to him. And it turns out he was actually a fan of Five Finger Death Punch, which was a surprise to us. But he was like, send the song over. And he heard it and he was really into it and he flew to Vegas where we were recording and he recorded his vocal and we went out to dinner with him and got to know him and he's a super cool guy, super humble, obviously super talented and uh, it was just a great experience, man. Actually, whenever I got my first Kiss record when I was really young, that, that turned me on to music. I was really just blown away by the way the record cover looked and just the whole vibe of it. I was like, man, this is great. And, uh, you know, I started playing drums at six years old. So it's been many years in the making. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, I was terrible, but <laughs> to me, I didn't care. I was like, I'm in Kiss. I play drums now. You know, it was, uh, I loved it. Yeah, for Veterans Day, yeah. We, we've also gone and played for the troops in Iraq a couple times, so anytime we can uh, do our part and help out and give back or, or go perform for the troops or whatever, we, we've always tried to do that and we'll probably be doing that again in the future. Well, I mean, certainly some of us have military ties. Uh, certainly Zoltan comes from a military background and it was just important for him and for us, you know, to whenever we finally were given the opportunity to go play for him that we could do that. Because we would always get emails and stuff from, from troops saying, oh, your music means so much to us, it'd be great if you could come here. So we finally had the opportunity to go and it was some of the best touring we've ever done. I mean. Just nobody really knows what goes on over there. Um, and those guys are away from their families and they're sacrificing so much that when we can give back entertainment to them, you can just tell how happy they are because it brings like a little piece of home to them over there. Yeah. And they were excited, man. They were in the mosh pit going crazy. It's some of the coolest pits we've ever had, man. Uh -huh. So it's great. All right, see ya.